Okay. Uh, shrooms 101, man. What is What does functional mushroom even mean? What's functional? What's, why the word functional? And then what's the difference between that and psychedelic? Yeah, so we, we break them down. I do basically three categories. You know, functional are the ones that you would use to function better that would help your body uh, come to balance in some of what I've listed. The ones we focus on um, where we grow out at Michael Love Farm it are uh, lion's mane, cordyceps, and reishi. And so those all are functional. Um, cordyceps are not gourmet. Reishi are not gourmet. Lion's mane is actually one of the most beautiful gourmet mushrooms on the planet. It was so yummy to cook, yet it also is a functional mushroom. So it does have dual purpose. Um, then you throw in, uh, you know, sh sh shiitake, that's also really good for us functionally, but also a great gourmet mushroom. Oyster mushrooms that are starting to grow on, to, on trees right now in the spring and come out because uh, the temperatures are right and the humidity, they are also extremely good for, for your body, but they're also amazing gourmet to eat at home. So there's gourmet, like I'm mentioning, that people are familiar with, like portobello mushrooms or the little white cremini in the, in the um, restaurants. They come from the agaric family, which actually the agarics are poisonous. So if you eat too many of those, they may not be great for you. And that's, that's a great mushroom, but it really doesn't have a ton of, of value. Like I mentioned with like lion's mane mm -hmm. or um, chestnut mushrooms, or oyster mushrooms, or if you go out and use forage or morels, uh, chanterelles, there's so many mushrooms out there, gourmet, that are so good for you uh, to eat and taste really good. 